What's up everyone, it's Emotion Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do an update video on the um, the 80s uh, chain car. I got this thing just about done, guys. Um, there's a few minor major things to do yet. Um, stuff that I can work on tomorrow, get it closer. I got till Saturday, so I got like five days yet, to, or four days actually, to get this car done. Mm, technically three ish because i got some of the day on saturday to get it done but friday i have a derby so i won't be able to work on it at all that day so i'm going to try to get as much as i can get done uh tomorrow um which that's going to include paint and uh getting the hood where i want it and um that's really about it and get them start putting the motor back together um otherwise she's gonna be painted tomorrow and she's gonna be the uh a cow guys um not mag cow because that is a, a derby 103 uh or derby guy 103 or i think that's what his channel's name is uh that's his main paint scheme is mag cow um this is <laughs> we're just gonna paint her up as a cow so uh something simple something easy uh something goofy i guess but ready to see all the progress on her guys i haven't really done all that much other than i got the motor in there it is mounted down it's where it's gonna be uh that took actually a little bit of time uh to get figured out there were mo motor mounts in there uh, in the first place but they weren't lining up with my motor so i just said screw it i cut them out and then i put my my motor mounts in and i welded everything down solid so hopefully she'll be good to go um i might have goofed up and it might not pass the rules for this show um if it doesn't so this car will be saved for the next upcoming show which should be within the next few weeks so um thank you to my helper for getting this motor in here she actually was driving the skid loader um uh adjusting for me and i was uh positioning the motor to where it needed to be and getting it aligned how many times do we take the motor out seven times seven eight times um so that was fun got my bumper on um so uh something weird with the bumper is it is it is a uh, curl it was curled up so if i mounted this on it would have already been positioning upwards so what i did is i flipped it upside down and it actually it went on really nice it's not perfect um by all means uh that side's pretty collapsed this side is getting there um if i think about it yeah that side's definitely collapsed collapsing it's not fully collapsed and then this side's not so bad so that's actually going to give this a little bit more of a point um but the only downside is it kind of is giving it a ramp which is not a good thing but we're going to see how this goes um it actually looks really nice on there i'm going to get this all painted up nice uh tomorrow i'm going to go get paint and some other materials that i uh need uh, I do need to put a brake booster in. Uh, that is going to be next on the agenda. And also, I'll grab the hood tomorrow and I'll get holes cut, which I might steal one. Nah, we'll just go get a new hood. Um, and then we'll get this all painted up. Um, can't do anything to the frame. Uh, realistically, there isn't all that much I can do. I got the radiator, I just took it out and so I could just get the bumper welded on. And I got this solid, actually, this is the first time I've actually been able to weld all the way around the bumper. So I'm feeling very more confident that it should stay. Um, Interior-wise, nothing much. Uh, I got to position all my wiring. I got some window mesh in, something to keep if the hood would come loose or something keep it from coming in at me uh, that would kind of suck and hurt got my nine wire 
I am allowed nine wire to go around where body mounts are missing or body bolts are basically gone. Um, come to find out, the reason why he put it around the frame is because that one and that one over there is basically gone. So wrapped it and then I tightened it up nice. Got all my doors tight. Um, was thinking about putting nine wire up here but I'm gonna say screw it. I am gonna put duct tape around the corners. I might do it here too, just to like do it here, there, just basically all four corners. Maybe we'll do it around there on both sides, but eh, we'll see. I don't, see how ambitious I feel. Got all my nine ore in the, in the trunk done. Uh, you are allowed a 90 degree bend. Uh, nothing special, you are allowed the notch as well, and I did a double notch. Well, I notched here, a big notch, and then I dimpled just right somewhere in there. Or it actually, it would be right in between, I believe these two nine wire is where I put it. So that way, so this will pack up here, and then it'll start to buckle in here, hopefully keeping my vision out of the way, or um, from keeping vision through. I might try to jack up that window a little bit, but I will see. I am trying something new, guys, and I haven't haven't really seen any uh, uh, derby guys do this. Is, oh, I wish I had a light. Uh, can I borrow your phone quick? I need a flashlight so you guys can see clearly what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing, guys, is, sorry for the bad lighting, is I'm putting a compact bumper on the back of a full-size car frame, guys. I haven't really seen guys do this before. I'm trying something different. Um, this is a very light bumper. So what normally happens, because this is off of a Lumina, guys, if I remember right. Um... Or it's off of something else, I can't remember though. Normally what happens is they like the V in the middle. So if I get this thing the V in the middle, it's gonna pull the frame rails together. And then with how I have everything, with my wire going down there, crossing, and suck tight, I'm hoping what's gonna happen is it's gonna suck everything in, and then hopefully keep everything together. Uh, We'll see what happens. Um, not too optimistic. This is just something goofy and different that I want to try. I've never really done anything like it, so for the for shits and giggles, I'm just gonna just give it a good old shot. See what happens. I mean, I got a bunch of these bumpers I bought a few years back, and I'm, I haven't done anything with them, so um, this is going to be kind of a guinea pig project just to see what. What's gonna happen? Um, I will be putting different tires on. Um, don't worry about that, guys. I might keep those ones up front and I'm gonna change the back ones out the skids. Um, just because that actually looks pretty nice with uh, not so tall tires in the front. I, I don't really have any smaller tires or medium sized tires, I should say. Cage is all in, all welded, which was done prior to me even getting the car. So that saved me a lot of time. I basically started this on Friday last week. And it is Monday. So basically, um, the progress I've gotten is motor in and trunk done, nine wires all done, bumpers on, everything's bolted down. And it's just a matter of getting the motor running decent and getting everything, brake lines thrown back together and should be good to go. Nine wires all tight, all the way through. Um, it's just duct tape some stuff and get this motor thrown back together, which I have my buddy coming to rebuild my carb from last year. Um, it seemed kind of sticky, um, seemed kind of gummed up or something. So I'm gonna have him rebuild it uh, I think it, water got in it, so that's not good, but I'm gonna have him rebuild it and, uh, see what happens, but 
basically this car is just about ready to go guys um there isn't all that much more to do other than uh other than brakes and i don't know how hard that's gonna be considering that uh i might just run rear brakes is the only thing i'm gonna run i'm gonna actually take apart uh i'm gonna just run my brake one brake line straight to the back of the car and then just run it there I'll splice it in somewhere in the lines because they look brand new going in. So I'm going to try to adapt it into there. And then I'm going to basically just bleed the back brakes and test my luck. But there you go, guys. There is an update video on the soon-to-be cow car, guys. But thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it. hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button if you're new to this channel, and we'll catch you guys all in the next video.